I didn't know you had a kid. It's Nick. It's a DJ. <laughs> You're my good friend. What? What? That's awesome. I also think we had a pumpkin and then I had a kid. Hello, Charles. How are you doing again, Stephen? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Say it. Oh, you. I always, I always, I always say that I. Uh, mm -hmm. ten years in the a lot of people here. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, but he doesn't. He... Okay, give me an update. Did you find out how to treat these pe these adults with, uh, with autism? Uh, what well, we're going to do? How to treat them? No, what we're going to do? Uh... Well, we uh, first of all we have to get a dialogue and communications up to find out what exactly is needed. We've got to get some stakeholders involved. They've been dialogue. They've been dialogue for you know ten what? years. But I, I don't know that, Charles. But you know, you got to start somewhere. That I got to start somewhere. So oh. UNB has to come on board. They've got a. a fit, uh, they're well aware of the. Uh, I'm not sure the, the audience. Uh, yeah. And uh, we have the Stan Cassidy. Yes. So we've got to marry those two up. And uh, I know government's got both federal, I think provincial, have to marry up. And a lot of money involved. What's that? A lot of money involved. Everything deals with money, isn't it? But when it comes to health, how do you get parents that don't that don't care? What we have to do, I think, with health, is start young people from smoking, getting exercise. Ride a bicycle with no helmet. Ride a bicycle with no helmet. With a helmet. With no helmet. Children. 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 Okay. Okay. We agree on that one. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, if we can get them healthy, so when they come to our age, they're nice and healthy, we won't have to depend so much on the health care system. See, if you have parents that don't care, well, what do you do with these adult autistic kids? Oh. That's scary. What do you do, right? Just on the street and put them in jail? Or, no. You know. I, I don't know. I don't know what you do. Maybe. You think that's it's time why, for an inquiry? here supporting. I know. You think it's time for, for an inquiry? Find out how to deal with this? An inquiry? Yeah, I mean, or... Uh, no, that's, that's the too big of a word, inquiry, for this. Uh, that's, again, you're just throwing taxpayer okay. money away. What will you use to uh, educate? We, we what's going have, on? Educate's a good word. Well, we already have the education in progress. We already have UNB here and Stan Cassidy. So, and I, I would ask the parents. Like Harold, he, Harold's been right from the beginning. Harold Doherty? Harold Doherty. You know, he's the guy that, he's the expert, I would think. So, what are you doing here? Hello I am there. Just, I am just, uh, I'm Aaron Boma. Aaron from uh, Boma? Woodstock. From Woodstock. Oh, how are you doing? Charles? I serve as military specialist for Carlton County in Woodstock and then vice chair of the autism group up in Woodstock. Oh, are you? Yes. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Good to meet you. You too, you too. Good to meet the blogger. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, everything you hear about me is all true, right, Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> he says you hear about the blogger. Everything you hear about the blogger is all true, huh? Huh? Yeah. I'm a pain in the arse. Uh, no, <laughs> well, not to me. Nice to meet <laughs> No, so, uh, uh, so it's, it's, it's good? Yeah, things are good. This is a great event. 
this is a great event for a lot of people that you know what I mean it, with me having autism myself uh, it's an excellent uh, it's not only a good fundraiser but it's a good social awareness that we are out there we need people to understand that autism is out there we need jobs we belong in this society and we are you know we are out to do the you know what that's so well done we'll leave it at that well thank you thank you take care